Would you believe this is the first thing I saw when I came to Newport? Big city? Gotta love it. Metro Circle, gloriously decadent. I hear Bingo's planning to buy the whole thing, convert it into a theme park or something. I'll believe it when I see it. Those elevator tubes provide access to the mid and upper levels of Newport. I'd need proper ID before I could use them, of course. place. Not my crowd, though. I think he's selling something. Counterfeit. Triple strength raptures, probably. Highly addictive and guaranteed to blow your mind. Literally. This guy's the reason they invented the phrase, hitting the bottle. And he's hitting it hard. Well, at least he's not doing anything. It's a liquor store. The Maltese Falcon. Oh, yeah! I remember this one. It's a Disney cartoon with a falcon who, um goes looking for a black cauldron. It's got singing mice in it, I think. I mean, don't they all? Casablanca. That's with John Wayne and Catherine Hepburn, I think. They play a married couple who adopt a baby leopard during World War II. It's a timeless classic. Mercury. They left out the theater bit, but maybe that's self-explanatory. The box office is closed. A Welsh ghost story, written and directed by Ragnar Tornquist. I saw that, it's a classic. This guy looks like he works at the theater. Just trash. Lady, don't you keep playing with that thing now, you hear? Leave it be. Green ooze. Guy's so conspicuous, he's got to be a cop on a stakeout assignment. Assorted candy. Colorful, no doubt also extremely toxic. Excuse me. Yes, um. Oh, geez. Hold on there one second, lady. Dang, Marquis. Light up. Good. Now stay that way, you hear? Do you work at the theater? Yes, um. I'm Freddy. Freddy Mellon. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she owns the theater. Yep, I reckon she does, uh-huh. She owns it, 
and she'd be running it by her own self like a, a real proprietor. I reckon I help out some, of course. Yep. And what do you do, sir? I'm the usher. And I also takes care of sweeping and cleaning up after the show. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she says she reckon I'm a regular jack of all trades. I tell you what, I think she's right about that, uh huh. Is the theater open now? No, I reckon it ain't, lady. It don't open till this evening. Ain't nobody in there either. I reckon that wouldn't be legal. You know a man called Cortez? No. I can't say as I does, lady. I ain't never met him. Now, I reckon I'd like to get on with my sweeping, uh huh? But I'm supposed to meet him here. Are you sure you don't know him? Look, lady. I reckon you you should just mind your own bee's knees and get. I told you, I ain't seen Cortez today. You said you didn't know Cortez. I I reckon I don't know nobody by that name. So so I tell you what, I'd mighty appreciate it if if you'd stop bothering me, and let me get on with my work. Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph. I reckon the whole dang world is f wants to find Cortez today. Thanks, anyway. Yes, yeah, some. I'll tell you what. You go on now and let Freddie Mellon do his sweeping before his mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, get all P.I.S.T. off. Hi there. Having fun? Didn't your mother teach you not to talk to strangers? She never mentioned anything about that. She should have. Now get lost. Are you on the job? On the job? What do you mean, on the job? You know, an assignment, stakeout, undercover operation. I suggest you get the hell out of here now, ma'am, before things get ugly. Was that a threat? Are you threatening me? Yes, I am. Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit. What is it now? Why are you dressed like a cop? What do you mean, why am I dressed like a... Hey, wait a second, what's it to you? Just trying to do my bit for the boys in blue, sir. You look like a cop, so if you're on a stakeout or something, you should try to blend in a little more. Go native! Yeah, how? I don't know. But that trench coat, it sort of gives it away. Perhaps a pair of blue jeans and one of those I'm with stupid t-shirts might help. Hold on, let me get this down right. Hey, wait a second, what am I doing? Who the hell do you think you are? The NPD fashion consultant? Is that supposed to be funny, ma'am? Are you a comedian or something? Because I'm not laughing. I'm not even smiling, am I? Now get your ass out of here and don't bother me again. Is that a threat? Damn right it's a threat. Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit. What is it now? Don't you get tired of hanging around here all day long? No, ma'am. So you're completely fine. There's nothing you'd want. That's right. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Not even a bite to eat? Just had a full lunch, ma'am. Thanks for asking. So you just had lunch? That's right. At Cool Cow. What did you have? 
A triple whammy cow patty with a side order of grease onions and a lard bingo cola. No ice. What about fries? And a double order of cheese and fried taters, yeah. Tastiest damn fries you're ever likely to find. Soaking in melted goat cheese. And you had this... when? Oh, about an hour ago. And you don't feel, um, the urge to go? No, ma'am, no. My bowels are genetically enhanced and require only perfunctory attention. The burger filled you up good? You don't have the munchies? Well, now you mention it, I have a craving for sweets. I didn't have time for my usual cool cow strawberry pie with whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and a scoop of ice cream. Wait a second. What am I telling you all this for? Who the hell are you anyway? Get out of here, ma'am. Right this minute or else... Is this a threat? I think that was a threat. A very serious one, ma'am. It's a piece of candy soaking in green ooze. Gross. Would you like a candy? Hey, yeah. That'll hit the spot. What the hell? The taste! Sickening! I feel kinda... Christ! Hey, what... What the hell do you think you're doing? Did you just throw a rock at my head? Now, I tell you what, you shouldn't have done that. I reckon that was a bad mistake. You should have seen him run, lady. I reckon I ain't never seen nobody run that fast. And he was clutching at his buttocks like he had the runs or something. <laughs> he, he even lost his stupid old hat in the gutter. <laughs> I ain't never seen anything that funny in a while. It's that detective guy's hat. He must have lost it running away from Freddie Mellon. This guy's the reason. It's a fuse box. There's something wrong with the power in that box, and it looks like the theater marquee is connected to the same switch. It keeps flickering on and off. It's some kind of keyhole. A zigzag lightning bolt. I just love that word, zigzag. Caution. Is that like a general caution, as in life caution? Life should carry a big yellow caution sticker. It's certain to kill you sooner or later. It's a large iron key. The cable's almost completely severed. It would probably be easy to pull it out, provided I have some kind of protection against the electricity. It's a switch. 
I'd venture a guess and say it has something to do with switching the power on and off. It's a band-aid. It's a rubber glove, but it's pretty useless with that big hole in it. Dang, more key! Light up! Hell, it gone dead on me now. I'm going to have to fix that sign proper this time round, uh-huh. I just need me a ladder and some tools from the basement. the last time somebody picked up the garbage. Smells like moldy caramel popcorn and bingo cherry cola. Disgusting! It's a mountain of garbage. It's the theater's fire exit. It's a closed garbage bin. It's a fire alarm and a smoke detector. It reminds me of something, but I just can't put my finger on it. I feel an uncontrollable urge to raise my hands, though. The shadow's being cast by those garbage bags. Constable Guybrush is a strange hybrid between man, ape, and musician, in addition to being an officer of the law, of course. It's a wind-up mechanism. I think one of his eyes is falling out. The eye came loose. Poor Constable Guybrush. Sorry, Guybrush, but I need to borrow your eye for a while. Hey! You! Yeah, you! Hands up! Spread your legs! And do the monkey! Mildly amusing, Dance. but irritating as hell. I think I'll shut him up now.
It's Constable Guybrush. Chased you earlier. Freddy, you'll do the monkey for you right now if, if that's what you want, uh huh? He'll do the monkey until you ask him to stop, I reckon, uh huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? Yeah, you! Hands up! Spread your legs! And do the monkey! I spent trying to get into the theater, no he could have just quietly no walked out to meet me. I feel no like kicking the guy. All exits just... They just lead back inside. There is a way out. Just not for you. It's getting closer. They will be here soon. You have no idea what I went through to find you. First, do you like movies? Sure. Who doesn't? Wait a second. I was trying to tell you that I don't much like modern movies myself. They're either too loud and expensive or too obscure and self-indulgent. But old movies, really old movies, have a charm and a simplicity that appeals to me. Listen. Please, don't interrupt me again. It's starting to piss me off. But I have never interrupted you, unless I've had something important to say, of course. But go ahead. What is it you wanted to talk about? Why did you make me search all over the city for you? Search for me? I've been here for hours, senorita. I haven't moved. The question ought to be, what made you go out of your way to find me? No way out of there. We agreed no to meet this morning, remember? No way out of it, As I remember it, there was no agreement. I said tomorrow, but you refused. I assumed you weren't interested. I apologize for making myself unavailable, however. Don't give me that. You wanted me to come looking for you again. Actually, no. I, I had to lay low for a few hours. Does it have anything to do with the cop that was staking this place out? Yeah. So it was a good thing I didn't stick my head out the door to look for you then, no? He's gone now. Are you in some kind of trouble with the police? Wait, don't tell me. Immigration. No, senorita. Not the police. There are bigger players than the police. I don't want to know. I'm not getting mixed up with the mob or gangs or anything like that. There's not much you want to be mixed up in at all, is there? My life's complicated enough as it is, Mr. Cortez. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Answers. You want, you need answers. You keep telling me that, but you never give me any answers. Just more questions. Like, who's out to get you? What's going on with me? How come you know so much about me? I plan to answer all your questions today, April. No way out of By the time you go to sleep tonight, no your world will have changed. 
and oh. nothing will ever be the same. Just You're the just being cryptic again. It's like soap opera sex. Lots of boring dialogue, and when they finally go to bed, everything's dark and covered by blankets. You want the full Monty, then? Just Come with me. You. Come outside. No more talk. I will show you the truth. They will be here soon. Soon enough. This is probably as good a place as any. At least there's no one around to see. Except rats. To see what? Stand back, senorita. What for? What are you doing? Why, Alice? I'm sending you through the looking glass. What? What is that? Please tell me it's a hologram. It's a mirror to reflect your dreams. I don't see anything, just light. Oh, you have to step through. Step through that? Oh no, I don't think so. This is the moment of decision, April. All time, past and present, revolves around this moment. The destiny of worlds is in your hands. But you must make the choice on your own. La vida es corta. You must decide how to live it best. All right. I'll do it. Vamos. Enter the light. Don't say that. It sounds too ominous. Just... tell me what's gonna happen. You're about to take the first step on the longest journey of your life. But don't worry, I'll be waiting right here. I must be insane to do this. Yes, it's pretty much a given. Oh, I almost forgot. When you're ready to come back, pay a visit to a friend of mine called Westhouse, Brian Westhouse. <laughs>